You know, say whatever you want about Gorlock. You could say that she looks like Crew from Jack 2. Maybe you're seeing a picture of that on your screen right now. Uh, she could take she could take some she could take some punches there. The internet exists, and if you ever look at any of her content, she's very tolerant. She has she doesn't delete comments, she she takes it. People are on public telling her that she's ugly, and she takes it. She goes, Yep, I know, she rolls with it. Sometimes it is the better move to roll with the punches. Like for instance, on here, on this channel, you guys might know, there's a lot of people that think I am a homosexual male. When in reality, obviously, I'm not a homosexual male, but there's always a case for it. Oh, you talk about BBCs, you talk about the ingestation of a male's genitalia in your mouth. I'm just a really, really securely heterosexual male. So I don't think there's anything necessarily wrong with talking about those particular topics, but if you bring those things to have power, then they're going to have power over you, right? And if you're somebody that can't and like can't can't handle criticism, then it probably isn't the best place for you to be on the internet because it is a very volatile spot. So say whatever you want about Gorlock here, but she can at least roll with the punches. I am so realistic, it's scary to where you think that I'm bidding on my own self. No, but I'm not at realistic all. and I know the reality of things. You are an acceptable fat girl. You have the physique. You have the butt. You have the flatter stomach. You have the titties. Like, we're speaking about, like, the girls like me. We're not, I'm not acceptably fat to men. Oh. She's right, though. There is this, uh, like, phenomena where, I mean, I wouldn't even say it's a phenomenon. It's very unlikely that if you gain weight, you will gain weight in areas that you think that you want to gain that weight. So I, I know a lot of girls that want to have big boobs and want to have big butts. Um, not too many guys, even though a lot of fat men do have big boobs and big butts, which is great for them, I guess, if that's what they want. I mean, it's not exactly favorable in that particular area. I'd much rather if you had a more defined butt cheek or you had a nice pectoral area, men or women. But it is obviously something's going to happen when you gain a lot of weight. You can't control where that weight's going to distribute. That's like deemed based off of... I don't know where your fat distribution is according to your genetics. So if you're gaining two, three, four hundred pounds at a time, and this woman is obviously very big, I mean, let's get that zoom out real quick. Woo! Damn, she is very, very big, and the weight obviously didn't distribute to the places that she wanted to distribute. Obviously, and that is going to negatively affect you in the dating market. But you know what's really interesting is how can you sit here and have a whole podcast, right? And you're talking about how terribly unattractive you are but the other person next to you is not because their weight distributed to another area of their body that was more favorable can we just be honest for a second you both don't look good okay that's just what it is if you're sitting and you're chilling at 250 300 pounds or whatever it's not a good thing regardless of whatever weight that is all right dude um i don't care if you put that weight on your butt cheeks i don't care if that weight went to a favorable part of your thighs that you think looks good you don't it don't look good okay it just don't it's lumpy it kind of looks like when you're putting dough and you're kneading dough and you don't have enough water and it's like really lumpy or whatever it looks like that there could be some guys out there that do like that but i always say this why are you binging on the fact that some guy somewhere at some time is going to think you're attractive? Wouldn't it be better to find most men going to find you attractive as a, 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 and then you can choose any of those guys as opposed to like maybe four or five that probably only like you because you have a fetish for really, really big, obese, dying women? And that's probably really what it comes down to. So when I see women like this or people in general complaining like, oh, you look better than me because even though we're the same weightage, you look better, your weight distributed differently and that's really fucked up. Like, what am I even supposed to do with that, dude? What is this level of like, <laughs> like oppression now? Like you guys are literally comparing butt to bus size, butt size. Like, all right, man, hey, that's what you want to do. But it's it's really cringe. And about like the girls like me, we're not, I'm not acceptably fat to men. You could just lose weight too, you know? Like you're going to completely annihilate this problem in general. And then you would not have to deal with being so fat that you're not attractive to men. And then also, I mean, I guess it's probably over for you now. I think there's literally a tattoo that says fat directly on her chest, which is like at that point, you just completely devoted yourself to the, the fact that you're obese, but go off queen oh not all men i'm acceptably beautiful to all men i mean i mean that's kind of crazy that you would say that i mean maybe some men maybe like your father uh your brother maybe thinks you're beautiful i mean you can't really i'm in that category of all men and i'm looking upon you right now with my eyes and i it depends on what we're talking about. Like maybe if you were on display somewhere as like a waterbed, I'd be like, oh wow, that's a, that's a nice waterbed. <gasps> oh my god, that's a human. You know, I'd be, if it was like that, like wow, that's a very beautiful waterbed. But that's you're not that. So all right, whatever, man.
they're gonna be like her okay. face is absolutely gorgeous right. nobody's who is saying that dude come on what is this like putting yourself down and being like but you know i'm really good looking in the face by the way that's not even a flex that's really sad to say to be like i know i'm busted i know i look completely disintegrated across my body and i'm completely just flabbergastedly awful looking but at least my face looks good that's crazy to say it's not even true but at least i mean you could say that but it's very very sad um i guarantee you okay i'm not even gonna go that far dude okay. you can't deny okay. that but this you can't deny that dude what do you when you're very very big like this like i'm not really even seeing jawline i'm not seeing really any type of the thing about what 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 is something that makes somebody attractive in the face right usually bone structure usually defined features usually things that you can you can look at and outline right so it would be the jawline so it would be the nose structure so it would be the eye shape so it would be the ears so it would be the forehead right when I can't see any of that, and I'm just looking at fat accumulated on your face and cheeks and sometimes even fat in the forehead, which is really, really crazy, I can't, like, say that you're beautiful. I mean, maybe somebody can, but then again, it's like, who? You know, if you're if you're binging on, like, one or two people telling you that you're beautiful, I don't care that you get, like, Instagram messages or, like, dudes are hitting you up on Snapchat telling you that you look beautiful and things like that. That don't matter to me. I don't care. A lot of people can say a lot of different things, but objectively speaking... If something isn't true, it isn't true. You you know, based off the market value, if you're somebody over here and you're struggling to get boys, a guys, I mean, she's literally saying that men don't find her attractive, then men don't find you attractive. I mean, what do you think? A guy's going to completely, oh yeah, you know, your body's like a one or like a 0 0.5 and you have high blood pressure, diabetes and all this other stuff, but your face is like a four. Like, what is that? Like even the average on that, like a two, or like a 1.1? This is stuff that you don't even want to waste your time with a man who don't know I'm what they want. You no, know what are you talking about, dude? First of all, if a guy is with you, you don't want to waste your time with a guy that doesn't know what they want. Sometimes you don't know what you want, and sometimes it takes a little bit of time to even understand who you are as a person. That's why I always say like it's really good to date around in your early 20s because sometimes you think you may want something, but then when you get it, you realize you didn't want it, and then you wanted something else. Like How many times have you been in a relationship with somebody or met somebody, and you thought, you liked a particular things about other people. And then when you started talking to this individual, you realize like, wait a minute, this is actually really cool. Like this person has a lot of interest. This person is really cool to talk to. They have a lot of like things going for them. Even though you thought this other person was really, really attractive. In reality, you didn't actually think that other person was attractive. It was just like the ideal version of the things that you thought were attractive. When in reality, you're finding this really, really attractive. Now your penis is really erect for this, right? And that's great. You should find erect penises um, when it comes to like you know values and things such and so forth but uh sometimes you need to date around a lot of times it need you take a little bit of time to figure out what you do and do not like so i mean i don't even understand this talking point like oh you shouldn't be with a man that doesn't know what he wants sometimes that might be the better thing i would never i would never guys i've been in a relationship for three years so I, i'm mm -hmm. not back you know i'm not even yeah. you know out here you know and i don't right. want to be out here i think it's absolutely disgusting out here to be <laughs> honest and i'm it just it depends on what you mean by disgusting out here, dude. Are you talking about in the sense like you can't get a manses and like dudes are dismissing you off the basis of being fat, even though most people do not want to be with a person that is fat, man or woman? I, I mean, it might be a little bit more acceptable to women in the sense of like women are usually not looking for the physical traits as much as men because men primarily focus on physical, physical traits. When it comes to women, at least at the beginning, usually men do seed a little bit more into the, the personality and other things such and so forth. But men are usually going for women that look more attractive as opposed to women. I find women will probably forgive some characteristics of a, of a guy's like physicality that are lacking if he has other things going for him. Like I've seen it tons of times where women looked upon i look at a guy and i'm like this guy is like a four which is fine it's okay to be average by the way and then this woman's like a seven or an eight or even a nine and i go why is she with this guy and then i talk to the guy i'm like i know why she's with this guy this guy's passionate this guy's funny this guy's charismatic this guy has a ton of things going for him he's, he's just like great in conversation this stuff is like really valuable for a lot of women it's not always just he's looking good right it's all about the other stuff too for men that does play a role but for men usually it's the looks first. Like I met so many guys that don't even really even care what the idea of the woman is like the, the back, the backstory about the woman or whatever. I've literally met dudes that are like, Oh yeah, bro. Um, I'm dating this girl and she like keyed my car. She microwaved my hamster. She destroyed my kitchen, but I got to stay with her cause she's hot. And I hear that quite a bit. Guys will forgive so much about a woman 
if she looks attractive, which is really, really sad because obviously you shouldn't put up with a woman that's going to microwave your hamster. I don't know what you're doing. But um, it's like that, but then women are more likely to forgive physical attributes that are unpleasing to the eye if he has other things going for him. Don't get me wrong. I've met a lot of women that are forgiving a lot of things that they probably shouldn't forgive, but anyway. That's besides the point. It's but, the up, and I'm focused on me right now. That's why we're here every week, you know, and then I'm working all weekend. How are you focused on yourself and you're, you're literally sitting there gut out, just sweeping across the whole table, dude? What even is this posture? Are you even sitting on the couch? Focused on me right now. That's why we're here every week, you know, and then I'm it must feel really crazy to know that like you're just consistently complaining about yourself for over and over and over again. Like men don't actually want to date me because you're more favorable. My weight didn't distribute across my body as much as yours did. That's really sad. I'm working all weekend. Listen, since nobody else will say it, I'm going to say it all right. If you are in your 20s, especially, you know, age 20 to 25, and you are... Listen, dude, I'm not saying this woman is ugly. I'm not. But she needs to she needs to go ahead and go on YouTube and she needs to find out how to install a wig properly because sometimes I gaze upon this woman's page every once in a while to see what she's got going on. And it seems every single time the wigs that she and I'm not saying the wigs are bad. Like, I think the wigs are probably good quality, but she doesn't know how to install them properly. You can actually see where the wig starts right here. She didn't blend it properly. It's literally a different texture compared to your to your actual skin. You need to install it properly. I don't know. Watch like a, I don't, I don't even know who you would watch, but like watch somebody that knows how to install a wig. It's obvious. Okay. I don't know what to tell you. I shouldn't have to be the one that tells her. I shouldn't, but okay. And don't sit there and go, oh, Diva, you're racist. It has nothing to do with race. Okay. The wig is not installed properly. And also why is it so low? I know your forehead is like all the way back here. Considered ugly by society, actually, you know, age 20 to 25 you are considered ugly by society now i know i think stay away from men okay i'm gonna keep it a buck with you if i'm gonna be completely honest with you this is a lie okay women from the ages of 20 to 25 are probably the most desirable they're ever gonna be ever and that that's because if you're appealing to the opposite gender in terms of men most men find very very young attractive women attractive so usually, now don't get me wrong, I'm not saying as you get older, you get uglier and uglier. I'm not saying that. Obviously, I see tons of women that are very attractive in their 30s and 40s. I'm not saying that. But a lot of men fetishize younger women, and that's a common trope. And usually, women are tending already to date older men, usually. I mean, usually it's not like too bad. If you find a guy that's like 20 years older than you, maybe not date that guy. But, you know, I've, I, I've seen tons of guys dating, you know, five, six, seven years older uh, are younger women and things such and so forth. Usually, I think the gap is something like three years minimum, I believe. And I've met tons of women too that um, I remember literally hitting up this girl at the time and I had to have been 24 or something like that. And I hit up this girl and she was 20. And she was like, oh, how old are you? And I was like, oh, I'm I'm 24. And she was like, oh, you're too, you're too young for me. And I was like, what are you fucking talking about? Like, you're 20. What do you mean I'm too fucking young? For? I'm four years older than you. And then she was like, I only date guys that are in their 30s. Like, I, that's... Because guys in their 30s are more established. They're usually, like, more responsible. They usually have more money. They usually have this, this, and this, and this. Sure, those things all apply. It's, it's true. When you're in your 20s, you don't have as much as you would have in your 30s and so on and so on and so on and so on. Usually, like, eventually you hit a peak, though. So I understand it. And I understand why women might want to date a little bit older. Because usually guys take a little bit more time to mature, mentally speaking. Because women need to be on their shit right away. Whereas men have a little bit more leeway. And they usually take more time to develop, mentally speaking. So usually like a guy that's like 25 is maybe like 18 mentally speaking. Okay. This is just like head cannon, but like as the guy gets older, maybe it matures a little bit faster. Whereas a guy, whereas a girl that's like 22 might be 25 or 26 mentally speaking. Don't get me wrong. There are some very dumb women out there and things like that. I don't objectively think that women are like smarter or at least more mature than you default because they're, I don't know, like women that's not what i'm saying but usually women have to mature mentally speaking a little bit further because they're put so much responsibility on them whereas men men do have responsibility put on them but usually like it's more lax responsibility if that makes any sense like people give men a little bit more time oh i just triggered a lot of people a lot of bitches just got triggered yeah i don't think that though i i don't think usually the women that are in that younger age bracket are probably going to be desired like soup like most women for all of time have always been desired all the time and I've, i hear a lot of people nowadays say like oh it, online dating has ruined women because women nowadays can have sex with whoever they want across the world and things like that and i always think like women for all of time could have had sex with whoever they wanted to whenever they wanted to right for the most part and 
online dating sure opened up the bracket a little bit more, but it went from like this to like this. It's not like that much of a difference. Like sure, she can have sex with the guy that's, I guess, like a city over maybe, but that's not really like really anything, dude. She could have went outside right there and asked somebody for dick. And I guarantee that dude would have probably already been beating off pre-beating as like a, you know, I don't know, maybe like smelled vagina or something like that. Like guys are consistently horny. And as you get older and older, and this might also be a good thing too, with dating older men is like, I know when I was like, 18, 19, I used to beat off all the time and I still beat off all the time, but I'm more lax about it. Like I'm not, you know, now vagina is not really that big of a deal to me. And this is coming from someone who's been considered a lifelong ugly. Okay. Right? That's really sad, dude, because you know what? I don't think that she's actually ugly. She has some unfortunate features, but she's actually doing nothing about alleviating the things that she can alleviate. Like this dude, the wig, you got to do something about the wig. Okay. I don't care if you're bald, you can wear a wig. That's fine. I don't care. Can you install it properly? That's all I ask, okay? If you're going to do something, do it properly. I get it. There's a t You have to learn from your mistakes, and sometimes you fuck up, you fuck up, you fuck up. This woman's been making content for like a year, and every time I look at her shit, it's always fucked up. Her wig is always fucked up. Lose the double chin. Lose some weight, okay? That's going to improve your chances of getting a man or a candidate and people thinking that you're ugly. You have nice teeth. Your skin looks okay. I don't know. Like when, I'm, when, you, when you're hitting me with this stuff and you go like, I've been considered a lifelong ugly – that's terrible. What are you doing to alleviate that? It's our society considers unattractive. It's, it's like, okay, first of all, dude, society is sure. There are people that generally speaking find a particular group of people more attractive than other people. Like for instance, most people would consider Henry Cavill and maybe Jason Statham very attractive men, right? Most people would probably consider that. And then maybe you have to follow along those lines to be considered attractive as well. But that doesn't mean that you yourself are not attractive in general, right? Um, and like I said before, there are plenty of things that you can do to improve yourself day in, day in, day, day, every day, right? And I think it's really, really unfortunate that people really focus really heavily on what society thinks in the sense of like, oh, these people are more attractive than me. Everybody thinks that I'm really ugly and I'm really, really like all this making me hurt my feelings. Like, I'm not saying not to think about it because you should be following along by like the basic ideas of attraction, but if you're focusing on it this hard to where you're like, I don't know, you're you're considering yourself a lifelong ugly, that's crazy. Who's been considered a lifelong ugly, okay? Rates our society considers unattractive. Our this is true though. Uh, the race that, it's so, okay. You know what's really interesting? I remember like yesterday or something like that. I got a comment on a video and I said something like in the comments, uh, I said in the video, I was like, I'm really okay with um, sex work. Like I'm okay if a woman wants to do OnlyFans, I'm okay with a man wants to do OnlyFans. And I think that it should be okay, right? And I remember somebody had commented. They were like, I can't believe that you would say this. Like, most sex workers are actually, like, they're they're being, they're being like, um, like, they're mostly children. And they're, ter you know, they have to do this to make money and this and this in my country. And I'm just thinking, like, dude, listen, okay? Everything I say is going to be pretty much within the context of my society, which is America, right? And I understand that if you're in a different country, that those rules apply over there. And it sucks that if that is what's happening, right? I can't relate because I'm in America. And if a woman or somebody wanted to be OnlyFans to make money, I consider that to be a job, right? In the same way that if somebody was to work at Walmart and make 15 an hour or whatever how much, they're giving their time for an exchange of money. If they weren't being paid, they wouldn't show up. In the same way that if somebody was doing OnlyFans, maybe they're making more money and they they wouldn't do that if they weren't making money. You understand? But they are being compensated. So they see this as a more of a benefit to do that as opposed to this, right? I'm not saying that it's objectively a good thing. I don't think that, you know, unless it's something you want to do, I always give it, I always tell people like they should do what they want to do, but I support it in the sense of like, if you wanted to do it, you should. And this all binges on the, on the fact that we live in a society called America or a westernized country, which most people in westernized countries if you're doing pornography, most of these people are doing it voluntarily. So oh, that's all. That's what I have to say about that. But definitely in our society, right, in Western society, especially here in America, black women are seen like darker skinned black women. This doesn't really work for lighter skinned women. Usually like mixed race women, um, light skins, yellow bones, whatever you want to call them, are seen as a little bit more attractive. Um, because I've been I've been told that it's more close to whiteness. Maybe you got the best of both worlds, Hannah Montana edition. Um, but for black women in society, according to dating statistics, like Tinder does their thing every single year where they release their, their statistics and things like that. Black women are at the bottom. They're always at the bottom in terms of, um, 
the race that gets the least interaction, which is really sad because as you guys know, I'm a snow bunny. I've dated only really dark skinned women. I have dated a mixed, uh, mixed girl before, and I can't really relate. Um, everybody is uh, an individual at the end of the day. I understand that the reputation that black women have is a bad one in the sense of black women are loud. Black women are really boisterous. They talk, they, they, you know, they voice their opinion so much. And maybe that's not attractive for a lot of people. Personally speaking, I like girls that are very confrontational, but, uh, I see why a lot of people may think that's a bad thing. And also it's not necessarily even true. It's just the vocal minority. Like if you, what is the population like of black women in this country, like 7%, 6%, cause like 13% of the population is black in America. Okay. And then you cut that in half because obviously women, and then how much of those, like it's a very small percentage of the population. And then a very small percent of the population that is like what everybody is looking at. And they just throw that blanket over the entire uh, population of black women, which is really sad because it's not true. I mean, it, it all depends on where you grew up. It's all depending on the culture that you grew up in and things such and so forth. Not all black women are loud, disgusting, and fucking, I don't know, like screaming at you and shit. That's not always going to happen. Plus size, dark skin, bad built, meaning you don't have curves in the acceptable places. You could just lose weight though. Like, I mean, you can't really do shit about the being black part. I mean, that, even though I'm telling you that these like black women are looked down upon in the dating market, that's not necessarily me saying that you're not going to get a boyfriend or a girlfriend or something like that. There are plenty of people that will date you. It's just like, you have to at least understand where you're, where you're playing in the market or at least understand what is going on in the market. So you have that, you have this idea in the back of your head, you can play, right? You, you can at least understand, um, you can lose weight. You know that, right? Like if you don't have curves in the right places, that's awful for you, I guess, but that doesn't mean that you can't develop curves like the thing about curves right i see this quite a bit you don't have to be 300 pounds to have curves i don't know why so many people think that plus size equal curves no a woman that's 120 can have curves a woman that's 140 can have curves a woman that's 160 can have curves a woman that's 250 and you're sitting there going i don't have curves yeah i know you're you're built like i don't know like a bag of milk that was left in the sun it's not something that most people want to look at and think that's aesthetical i don't know what to tell you so Yes, you don't have curves, but that's also because you're massive. I don't know what to tell you, bro. It's not attractive. Lose the weight, and then if you want to have curves, then, I don't know, go to the gym. Squat, lift weights, bench press. I don't know. You can you can build your own curves. You know if society considers you ugly. Okay, let's be honest. Please stay away from men in their 30s. I keep seeing more and more young girls get caught up with these dusty, no good for nothing, piece of shit, stinking ass. And I no good for nothing is a double negative, by the way. That's like somebody saying, I ain't got no. If you say, I ain't got no, that's like you saying, I ain't got, which means you don't have it. No, so I ain't got no. That means you do have it. You understand? So it's like good, okay, whatever. I that's semantics, but... <laughs> I don't recommend doing this, by the way. It just depends. You have to at least understand an age gap in and of itself is not necessarily a bad thing. It might be a red flag depending on how old you are. So if you're like 21, you're dating a guy that's 31 or, you know, 35, it might be a red flag because that is an age gap, a big age gap, but that's not necessarily a reason to break up with that guy. There might be some miscommunication there. You guys are from different generations. So there might be like not that much, um, to talk about but i've seen plenty of really really great couples work together guys that are older women that are older that work out and that happens right i wouldn't say objectively speaking that guys that are in their 30s are not potential candidates for women that are younger um i see why she might say that though because usually guys in those particular age brackets maybe have had the experience to know what they want and maybe they feel like when a woman is younger they can possibly manipulate that woman to do it they want them to do and that could mean like you know that could be bad but that doesn't necessarily mean that that doesn't necessarily mean that if you're 30 that you have that expertise right i don't know get caught up with these dusty no good for nothing yeah no good for nothing piece of shit stank and ass and i get it it's so alluring usually if you're considered ugly by society not saying you are ugly because you're probably gorgeous but usually you're not used to all that attention on you. Maybe you've never even been on a real date. So this is why I say like, if you're a younger woman, especially because the internet is very, very volatile towards like younger women, it's probably not a good idea to have a social media presence. Um, I don't know, dude. It's like, it all depends on who, who you are and how you adjust to the internet because 
being on the internet for as long as I have been, I see people can be manipulated very easily. The attention that you get might be very, very addicting. Maybe you get attention in the wrong area and then maybe that happens and then you start emphasizing that particular thing. And I'll give you a scenario. Like let's say you're 18 years old and you want to have a Christian Instagram page, but anytime you ever get likes, it's only that time where you sh you showed your ankle. And then you're like, you know what, maybe I'll just like pull up my sock. You know, I'll pull down my sock a little bit and see if that gets a little bit more action. And then you get more interaction. And then you start posting more pictures and suddenly you're wearing short skirts and then then you're on the stripper pole and then you're sucking off a, a black guy. I don't know. Like, there's a transition, right? Then things happen because you re it rewards bad behavior or maybe not so much bad behavior, but it rewards behavior in a direction that maybe you didn't want to go down, but you're going to go down because you're getting that particular type of attention. Don't get me wrong. Obviously, this affects everybody, but the thing is, men are not primarily judged based off of their physical appearances, whereas women are, and you know and I know you can literally have an Instagram page dedicated to just you being a girl and posting pictures every once in a while, and I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but it's also something to be responsible about. You understand? Like, it's good. It's a good idea to at least understand that the attention you get on the internet may not always be the best attention, if that makes any sense, so... You're not used to all that attention on you. It's just something to be aware of. Maybe you've never even been on a real date. So if this this bitch take you to fucking Cheesecake Factory, you might think that y'all locked in, all right? These men know what they're doing. And I used to think when women in their 30s would tell me, oh, he's dating younger women because nobody his age wants him. I used to think that they were bullshitting too. No, they're not. No, they're fucking not. A lot of guys also fetishize younger women, so that could also be it. And I know you're gonna watch this and you're gonna be like, Detour, you're an old bitter bitch. I Damn. am bitter, but I'm not dumb. And I've been in similar positions, okay? And you gonna think he's doing his big one, his big pump pump two one. No, he's not. Mm -mm, baby. I don't even he's know what that is. He's just been here long enough. He gonna hit you with that one, two, one time and never do it again. Mm -mm. Oh, is she talking about sex? Like he's gonna hit you with that one, two, one time? I don't even know what that is. Get yourself Somebody help me. What does that mean? some fucked up situation fucking around with these old ass men 30 isn't even old dude yeah what are you talking about old ass man dude 30 30 is old come on dude i think we got to change up the terminologies here bro how old are you are you an old ass woman because you're 30 don't be calling people old because they're in their 30s dude what are you talking so like what is joe biden what is he like a fucking quadruple grandfather what is he like a dinosaur dude how does this work who nobody else wants Three reasons why you should date a thick girl, part two. It's really interesting when I see these guys posting videos like this because they're so cringy, in my opinion, dude. I, they, it's fine if you want to post these, video, these videos, but I know you're pandering, dude. I know you're pandering, dude. Three reasons why you should date a big penis man. Reason number one, it's warm. The penis is massive. And guess what? If you need a sunroof in your house, Morning wood breaks right through the door, right through the walls. You don't even need to call up a construction crew because guess what? It's going to happen to you every single day. Reason number two, you never have to worry about being pregnant because the moment the penis touches your uterus, it's scrambled. Your egg sac is done. It doesn't matter. His penis is so large, he's going to shish kebab you and your, your whole vaginal functions are depleted. Reason number three for dating a big penis man. Guess what, ladies? You think that black guys have a lot of lotion? Big penis men most definitely have a lot of lotion because the amount of rug burn that they have on their penises on a consistent basis because of the dragging across the floor, it's consistent. So if you want to date a big penis man, these are the greatest qualities that you can, you can have when it comes to dating these guys. It sounds a little cringy. I feel like mine's was better though. Anyway, let's see the reasons why you should date a thick girl. And by the way, thick doesn't mean anything anymore. Thick could mean you're 350. Thick could mean you're 120. Thick could mean you're 500 at this point. Nobody else wants. Three reasons why you should date a thick girl, part two. Well, the first reason, not only do their thighs save lives, they make the world's best pillows. Why do they always sound the same? <laughs> by the way, it's really offensive to sit there and say, why should you date a thick girl because their thighs are more comfy than pillows by the way that's not true i don't know what the fuck if you've ever laid on somebody's thighs before it's uncomfortable i don't care how fat they are and by the way they're also their their legs or whatever you're laying on are eventually gonna fall asleep so i wouldn't even recommend doing that and then also if it's why is it a buying point to sit there and say their thighs are 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 very comfortable like pillows i'm not buying a sleep number bed i'm not going into like jordan's furniture to buy a love seat dude i'm i'm in the market for a human being like i want to date somebody i don't want to like oh yeah guess what like on my dating app 
thighs are softer than sleep number bed. Bro, what are you talking about, man? That's not a good thing. Like, this, this is actually a bad reason. This is, like, really offensive, by the way. Like, if there are women in this comment section going, like, yes, yes, king. My thighs are, like, water mattresses. They jiggle. They play. If you want to lay on them for 25 minutes, please do. That's not a good thing. That's not good. <laughs> not only do their thighs save lives, they make the world's best pillows. You can't find a pillow better than that. That's a fucking lie, dude. Women don't shave their legs sometimes. Listen. I'm okay if you don't want to shave your legs, but if you shave your legs and you wait like two or three days and you rub your face against a, uh, a like a leg, dude, it's going to be like prickles. I remember one time I was having sex with this one girl and she, I was telling, she was like, so tell me how you like it. Like, tell me if you want me to shave. And I was like, you know, I like a little bit of hair, right? But in my mind, when I said a little bit of hair, I was thinking about the Hitler stash. You know what I'm talking about? Just the middle piece that goes up on the vagina. I was thinking like that, but she interpreted that as she wasn't going to shave. So she was going to have little prickly things, right? And I remember I came over and I was about to lay it down, right? And the moment I like, oh, right? I was like, Ugh! it was like a cactus. It was terrible. And I thought, like, I, I was a man about it, obviously. So, I mean, a little bit of toxic masculinity there, right? I was like, I was like manning up. I was like, I don't care, whatever, dude. This don't matter to me, right? But I remember like doing what I was doing and like halfway in and I was like, do I have anything left? Like, did I just blender my shit? And then I pulled out to look down, right? And luckily, I was okay. But I, it was very uncomfortable, and it was not something I would ever recommend doing. Um, it's okay if it's more than that. Like, if you're a little bit more hairy, that's fine. But when it's really prickly, dude, oh my god, it's literally like a blender. Like, uh, the way I can imagine it is like the outside of a cactus. You know what I'm talking about? Like, I'm not, you know, it's, it's not favorable. But anyway. Door. Reason number two, thick girls have thick skin. No pun intended. That's also not the truth, man. That, I mean, it just, <laughs> nah, dude, that's not true, bro. I've, nope, nope, it's not. You need to be a very, there are plenty of thin people that also have very, very thick skin in the sense of like taking moral distress, having the ability to bounce back, not taking everything so seriously. So I don't, I don't agree with this. They seen and heard everything in the book. So they handle drama better. I've never been thick or I've never been like a very overweight person. And I think I've probably heard everything in the book too. Like if I'm being honest, I probably heard way more than you. I'm not even trying to brag about that. It's not a good thing. But anyway. And reason number three, thick girls have the world's best sense of humor. Hell, they'll be laughing at their own jokes literally all the time. You know what's really sad is like the reception of this video. This is the cringiest shit I've ever heard in my life. This guy's literally pandering to fat women. <laughs> And uh, I guess it got the right reception, I guess. I don't know. But them having – I think that maybe where this stems from is when you are fat, you need to develop a sense of humor because everything else surrounding you is so incredibly unattractive that you need to develop something that will, I don't know, pick up the slack in other areas. And that could work to a certain degree. Um, like I know a lot of guys that are funny – that can, you know, that are not the most attractive, they can pull women if they are very funny. Okay, fine. And I'm not saying that men also don't look at that. Men want a girl that's funny, sure. Confidence and things such and so forth. But it's a little bit less incentivized for a man. I know I say this time and time again, women are usually incentivized based off physical appearance. So that's probably, if you want to date men, that is, you probably want to focus on that a little bit more in, in the terms of dating, right? You should always be looking at what the other person wants, generally speaking, and then try to cater to that. Obviously, within the realm of you, you should be identifying as yourself first and foremost. I don't know about y'all, but those are three really good reasons. Why one of them was like actually offensive, dude. This guy actually was an asshole in that first one. Uh, y'all should date a thick girl. So come on, fellas. Start treating these ladies like queens. Like dude, what are you fucking talking about, dude? Look at this fucking guy, dude. Pandering so heavily, dude. Come on, fellas. Date a thick girl. They're so good. Trust me on that. I don't date one, but maybe you should anyway, because guess what? You can lay on their leg like a sleep number mattress. That they deserve. I'm here to talk about what it is like fucking being intimate as a fat person. Recently showed my Tinder profile in here to show you guys how to be realistic when you're putting yourself out there as a fat babe. I got this comment. Do I have people wanting to hook up with me while I'm being realistic about how I look? Um, absolutely. Everybody. Yeah, but that's okay. Look, first of all, dude, having sex with somebody is like literally nothing. Okay. Especially as a woman. Okay. Now hear me out. If you want to be a girl and you want to have sex with whoever you want to have sex with, I'm not telling you that you can and cannot do that. But oftentimes, I see women go, I can fuck whoever I want. I can have sex with whoever I want. That, you know, like, I can pull any man. That's fine. But, you know, I'm going to keep it a buck with you. Whether you look like this 
or you look like Halle Berry from 2003, I don't think it really matters, dude. A guy will have sex with watermelons. A guy will have sex with, like, uh, whatever, dude. Like, maybe uh, just literally anything. Like, guys will slip their dicks in hot sauce if it was, like, a potential option and they were desperate enough. Microwaving peanut butter jars. So, if you think having sex with a guy is, like, a uh, an achievement, I don't really think so. Because most dudes are willing to have sex with things that are not even existent. So, there's that, right? And then also, the way I like to look at women sometimes is, like, women have... Okay, so guys usually have, like, one ladder and women have two ladders. In the sense of, like, women will usually have one ladder dedicated to friends. And all the guys on her friends ladder are never, ever, ever going to be on the dateable ladder. Okay, so there's two ladders. So the dating and the friends ladder. The dating and the friends. The friends ladder, never, they can never cross, never cross, right? And guys have one ladder, and that's just like a series of women that are friends that they'll also have sex with. Most guys will have sex with the woman that they're friends with, right? Which is very sad, but it is true, right? The women will never do that. They will always have these guys that will never, they'll never have sex with no matter what, and they never look at them like that. They're probably looking at them like a brother or like a really, really good friend, right? So what tends to happen with women is that, they are looking at it in the senses of their ladders, okay? And th when they see a guy is having sex with them, well, that guy's on their dating ladder, right? And she thinks that all she has to do is just keep giving this guy sex, and eventually she'll be dating. Like she'll be, she'll be, she'll get the date from the guy. It's not how it works because on his ladder, he's just seeing you as somebody he's having sex with. You understand? So, given this information, you need to make him wait. You need to work. You need to met. You need to get him to work for it. You need to go on more dates you need to see how long he can stay around for if now listen this all depends on you if you have the experience and you deduce this guy is a good guy to be with then fine you can have sex with him early but usually you want to wait a little bit you want to get the commitment first you want to see what he's all about you want to see the intentions if you wait one two three weeks and the guy's still around odds are that guy's probably still going to be around because you're going to be literally if you're going on 10 dates right and you don't have sex with them until that third or fourth date most of the dudes by that third or fourth date are gone because they're not going to stick around. If their primary intention was just to have sex with you and use you for your body, most of those dudes are not waiting two or three weeks unless they're very desperate or they actually like you. So you will have to deduce by that end cycle if these guys are very desperate, but odds are if he's calling you up on the phone going, I got my dick in my hand right now, probably don't, you know, don't, don't entertain that, but you know what I'm saying? Use your deductive abilities, but that's the way that I feel like a lot of people should be looking at it. Like just because he's having sex with you doesn't mean that he wants to date you. And if I'm being honest, like most of these women are the ones that are wanting to have dates, which is fine. You know, relationships are awesome, cool, and things such and so forth. But don't think that having sex with a guy is going to mean that you're going to eventually have a relationship. Odds are it's not. Somebody has a type and you are somebody's type. Also, that ideology is very wrong. Like you're literally, you're literally playing the lottery of, I know I'm literally a two. I know there are things that I can improve with myself, though. I know I can probably boost myself up to a seven. But I know that where I'm at right now, somebody somewhere will like me. Okay, sure. Somebody somewhere will like you, sure. But is that really how you want to play the game? Wouldn't it be better to actually prioritize how you look physically to make yourself more appealing working on yourself? And then eventually you have more people that find you attractive? Than just binging on that one person somewhere that might find you attractive sometime, even though like there are tons of people that die alone. Okay. I promise you. Sex is not just about looks. Yes, it is a physical act that two people have, but it's all about energy. It's about connection. It's about two people coming together. It sure, sure, but there are plenty of people that just have sex for just to have sex. Um, so uh, sure, it could be about energy. It could be about all that stuff. That's primarily why I don't like having sex with people just out of nowhere. Like I don't just hit people up and go, hey, do you want to have sex? Um, I'm sure that I probably could do that. But it's for me, I don't really find a lot of value in it. I like having sex with somebody that I can emotionally connect to. And usually you can only really find that if you're in a relationship with somebody. So I tend to only really have sex with people that I'm in relationships with. You could feel differently. But usually a lot of people use it as like, a, I give you this and you give me that and we move on type of thing. So I wouldn't say that it's like, sure, there might be some energy involved, but not most likely. Yes, it is a physical act that two people have, but it's all about energy. It's about connection. It's about two people coming together and having a moment about pleasure for the both of them. If you put yourself out there and you are confident and you truly love who you are, you are going to attract people who want to be with you, who find you sexy and find you hot. But it doesn't matter. Like you're just having sex with them. So it's like, 
It doesn't really matter. Like, like I said, the guys will have sex with like orange peels, dude, and like squids. It's not impressive that you can pull guys to have sex with you. Size 20, I'm a big curvy blonde girl with doesn't blue eyes. Doesn't matter. Your vagina is going to be way superior compared to the squid the guy picked up at the Indonesian shop down the street, right? It's gonna be way better. So, obviously, even if you're a woman that's a very, very low calorie woman, sorry, a woman that doesn't have like a lot of uh, uh, goodness in her, it's gonna be obvious that you're gonna be able to pull guys. Like it's natural, right? But that doesn't mean all guys deserve to have sex with you. You should be prioritizing certain dudes over other people. You can't just expect that like all guys are the same or whatever. No, you should be 100% vetting the dudes. Find you sexy and find you hot. A size 20, I'm a big curvy blonde girl with blue eyes with acne on my face, guys. And I still get thick, obviously, because it's all about energy. It's about putting yourself out there and people will find you sexy. It's sad, dude, because this woman, man it's sad that's just really sad dude it doesn't really matter what you look like for the most part you will find dudes that will have sex with you regardless okay i i hate to tell you this dude and if you're judging if you're looking at this as a metric of success that you can have sex with multiple guys it's not it's really fucking not it's just not it's really just not dude okay like i've known dudes that have slipped dick into like warm rice krispies okay you, your vagina is far and away better than that, even if you were like a two. If you were a woman and you look like Danny DeVito himself, like the reincarnation of Danny DeVito, and you had a vagina, yeah, it don't matter, dude. Like, that guy will have sex with you. It is what it is, all right? Like, there's really nothing there. Don't consider that to be valuable. In my opinion, it's not. Now, you can totally have sex with whoever you want, but the way you're looking at it here, the way this woman's looking at it here is fucked. It's not good. Obviously, because it's all about energy. Like, penis is whatever. Penis is, in, penis is not in hot commodity, okay? There's a reason why women are the ones that choose who they do and do not have sex with. Guys don't really have control over that, right? For the most part. So, you have to be the one that decides who has sex with you, for the most part, and that is great that's awesome why are you just letting anybody have sex with you you shouldn't okay just don't don't do that it's not good it's about putting yourself out there and people will find you sexy promise okay so very it's bad information dude okay in my opinion if you're looking for a relationship giving sex out very early not ever a good thing now if you want to have sex with whoever you want to have sex with go ahead and do that but it usually doesn't end up good um, especially if you want a relationship, but if you don't want a relationship and you just want to have sex with people, go ahead. But, um, don't look at it as like a, you know, like, Oh, look how cool I am. I can get like 50 dicks a night. Like, oh, I know, like, I, I'm not even questioning that. I know you can. Very solid question. And I do feel like, how do you get dates? LOL. As a fat girl, most ghost, most guys ghost me after I tell them I don't want to go to their house and chill as the first date. Uh, yeah. I mean, that makes sense. You shouldn't be. Yeah, well, I mean, look, this is like, this is great for you, okay? If a guy hits you up and then like within the first 10 text messages, he asks you to chill at his house, he wants to have sex and then that's all he's really looking at you for, then you just come, you ghost him. That should be the ghost test. That should be the, the number one thing that you do. You shouldn't let him ghost you because what that tells me is that he said, hey, do you wanna chill at my house? And you said, oh, you actually looked at that as an option and said, oh no, I don't want to do that. Let's do something else. Why are you entertaining that? That guy doesn't give a fuck about you okay you are nothing to him you should be no, okay dismiss that dude immediately so you shouldn't be letting him ghost you you should be ghosting him this is a universal experience for so many plus size women it's a universal experience for women in general okay can we just be honest for a second there are plenty of guys out there that only want to have sex and that's fine i'm sure some women too that hit up guys and go hey what's your penis smell like i'm sure that happens too it's never happened to me but that's okay i think first thing is if a guy the first thing he says is he wants you to go chill at his house bail True. because here's the thing is i would say suggest like hey no let's go out in public let's do that but even if they do go out in public with you if they start out in a certain way that's that's kind of their goal and yeah that's exactly their goal she's giving good advice here don't talk to the guys that are hitting you up like that like to each their own been there if that's all you want then get yours baby but if you're trying to like create a relationship somebody who starts out with wanting you to come to their place first is probably not going to develop into anything yep. not anything of significance and like i'm not judging i've been there i've done that it is fun but it's not anything super satisfying so i agree I'm mostly on apps and so because i don't meet people with what i do for work
So all I have is the apps and I will say about 70% of the time I get messages like that and I usually just don't respond. Yeah, that that is literally the test that you use in order to get dudes out of it. That's, that's great. Why would you even want to interact with dudes that just want to have sex with you on the first date? That's not a good, unless that's what you want to do, like she said, but usually it's not practical. Or if I'm feeling like maybe it could be different, then I'll suggest. And if they're like really open to that and kind of like, yeah, like that sounds really nice. I don't even think that's a good idea because... I don't care what anybody says. If if somebody's hitting you up and going like, hey, do you want to like come over and chill at my house, like watch some whatever, and then I can make you food or whatever. I don't know if you guys were born yesterday. I remember literally having a conversation with a girl like this too, where she was like, oh, this guy, he invited me over his house. And I told him that, you know, I told him that I didn't want to have sex with him. I told him that like, I'm not that type of girl. I'm not that like, I don't want to do that. And like, uh, I went over there to hang because he told me yeah no no we're not gonna have sex i have no intention of that he tried to have sex with me and i'm just thinking like dude like i can't even believe you even went over there if a guy's asking you to come over that's crazy yeah no do not do that okay because like here's the thing a lot of signals that women give guys are very ambiguous sometimes okay like women usually work off of a basis of like not direct information usually it's very touch and go and sometimes it's very hard to understand what women really really want and if a guy in his mind is asking you, hey, do you want to come over? He's thinking he wants to have sex. And if you say yes, even if you preference that with, I don't, yes, but I'm not trying to have sex. He might be thinking about that as like a, okay, she told me that she doesn't want to have sex or she doesn't want to do anything as like a precaution. Just in case we do have sex, she doesn't look like a slut. You know, like some guys will think about it like that. And sometimes girls do that. And if you, if you think that girls don't do that, that's crazy. Girls do that a lot where they'll go, oh, I'm not really trying to do anything, but they want to have sex. And that's fine. That's okay if you do want to have sex. But I would really, really hope that people say what they mean and do what they say because it is so incredibly terrible sometimes because I see girls a lot going, how did this guy miss my signals? Like I literally was practically telling him that I wanted to suck him off. And then I think, yeah, that's true. But like, guys, it's, so, it's like so bad for sometimes when you look at a girl and like, it could be like the most direct signal, but then when you go for it, it's like, whoa, what are you doing? What the fuck? So sometimes it is very, um, it's very ambiguous, dude. That's why I say like, if you're a woman, maybe be more direct. If you want to have sex, just say that, or at least try to hint at it a little bit more obviously, because some guys don't know. And some guys are, um, dumb and don't get me wrong. Like, I know that what I'm saying here is like, you need to be more responsible as a woman. That is what I'm saying. Like it's sometimes it is like that. And you need to be the one that sometimes makes the level headed decision. Cause some guys are just not going to be doing it anyway. Then I'll, I'll give it a first date, but that's kind of just dating too. You have to date multiple people, not exactly at the same time, but you dating multiple people is fine in the sense of like going on multiple dates, but having sex with multiple people is not a good thing. You have to kind of go on different dates and get to know different people because sometimes people are just not for you. True. The way that I usually get those dates is I just ask. Sometimes they will ask me first and just like suggest dinner or drinks. But if they don't, I usually just kind of jump to that because I used to be really afraid of like asking a guy out first. And then I just realized that it doesn't freaking matter. True. How often I will just suggest good advice so far. This is a really good video. She's giving good advice. Hey, like we should go get dinner. Let's go get drinks. We could get coffee, something out in public and just quick and easy. So then that way you have a bail option, but then also you just kind of get to know them. Yeah. Any yeah. decent man will be open to that. And True. if they fight you on it, then like you didn't need them anyway. And is this a tedious and frustrating task for us ladies? Yes, 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 yeah. But the job has to be done by someone. So I guess my long winded answer is just sort of ask. As far as I'm concerned on those apps, you have literally nothing to lose. You could very well never see that person again. And if you do see them again, then you know that they were just that bitch that didn't want to commit to a date. Shoot your shot. Worst that can happen is they say no, which you probably thought they were going to anyway. So like you just, who cares? I love it, dude. This is great. This is great information, dude. Um, everything that they've said so far in this entire video is on the point direct, exactly true. Uh, yeah, I 100% agree with like almost everything this person said. So there you go right there, dude. I don't think it has anything to do with being fat. It's just good advice in general. Nothing matters. Truly though, just try it. Like yeah, you if you're a woman, definitely, sometimes it's okay for you to make the first move. Some guys are literally just kind of sitting there with their dick in their hands. They have no idea if you do or do not like them. And some guys find women very, very intimidating and they'll never ask you out. And if you think this guy's cool, you think this guy's really nice person to be around, 
um yeah shoot your shot i mean if he says no he says no but like whatever dude nothing to lose i would just most guys are not going to say no by the way most guys unless they're already like pre unless they're already in a relationship most guys are going to be like oh yeah 100 percent yeah let's do something suggest it and then see what happens i'm a fat girl on tinder of course i've been stood up on dozens of dates dozens dozens how many is dozens dude like 40 50 how many is dozens dude it's got to be at least more than 24 that's crazy dude dozens stood up meaning like she went to the date dude didn't show up that's sad man some people are just unfortunate in the face bro when you look like a shovel i mean listen dude it's tough i'm a fat girl on tinder of course i've been fat shamed by men who literally wear the same size as me at torrid yeah but he's a man right like he's a dude like usually dudes are a little bit bigger like what is a metric again like 20 percent of like usually men are about 20 percent bigger than women so i mean i don't even know if this is like is this like a flex to you saying like oh if you wear the same size clothes as me then somehow you have you shouldn't be looking at me as lesser that doesn't really make sense you're literally a woman dude like I'm, we do have sexual dimorphism meaning like women are usually smaller than men and that's okay like there's nothing wrong with that but that's okay whatever she has a weird way of defining that dude that's fucking weird as shit i i don't know why people are so comfortable making videos like this by the way and like completely airing out things that i would never think about ever airing out like what do you to sit there and make a video and go i've been stood up on dozens of dates dozens bro that's crazy plural on that and then also this is also a bad one too i'm a fat girl on tinder of course he only wants to hang out after midnight and if I can host. I'm a fat girl on Tinder. What does that have to do with being fat? Of course he opened with a message like... I know this is pathetic, but every time I see your match, I go to your profile and look at your booty, wondering if you've ever gotten bent over by a BBC. That's great. Is that dude white? Is that dude white? He ain't even offering the BBC? What are you talking about? Is he like on some cuckold shit? Is this guy literally talking about how he's wondering if you have BB? You know what's crazy? Is that this guy is actually talking about this woman, but he's doing it within the, the within the the gay variety. Like he's he's incentivizing he's incentivizing the penis before the person. That's crazy, bro. I think this dude might just want to be on the gay category, bro. What are you talking? You're not even the black guy. What? That's like somebody going like Hey, bro, I'm trying to do a threesome. I'm trying to do a threesome. Me, you, and that guy. And then you're going, but like, whoa, what, what about the girl? Yeah, what about her? What about her? She ain't, she ain't there. That's gay. That's real gay. That's like somebody saying like, oh, yeah, bro. I, I know you suck dick. I know you do. You're gay. I know I know you suck dick. You know what? Let's, let's prove it. If you don't suck dick, let's prove it right now. Open your mouth. I'm going to kiss you on the mouth right now. Open mouth, tongue kiss. And if I taste dick on your mouth, you're gay. That's gay, right? That's gay. And the the way you got to that and the way you're thinking about it is gay. But I see where you're going. Like, I, you know, that's how you get there. But simultaneously, I feel like there might be better ways to test if whether or not somebody's been sucking dick. Anyway. Baby, what's your snap? I need a big ass like yours in my face. I know a lot of guys like having women sit on their face. And it can be cool sometimes. But I really prefer a well-rounded or like a butt cheek that's more defined than just more girthiness. And, and white pants are my weakness. Okay. Um, you, you like your butthole worshipped, babe? <laughs> okay. Put my face in there and make me smell and lick it? Okay. Hey, bro. Uh, you kind of want some different shit, bro. Why do you like her pants being white again? Bro, what are you into, bro? Who are these dudes? this and he triple texted no my bad four texted that i'm a fat girl on tinder that's normal though come on now bro i literally had guys hitting me up i had i was on the straight category and i had literal men hit me up from across the across the entire spectrum and go yo bro you know you look really good i like the way your your shirts fit and i go oh man that's really great but i'm not really into men you know it's really nice that you would say that but i'm not really into it oh yeah i know but can you i know that like you you don't know me and they're like it's you know like it's random but do you think that like it would really help me out honestly if you could just like do me a favor if you could just send me real quick a dick pic and i'd be like what the fuck are you talking about dude like you're a fucking neighbor coming over to another person i was like i gotta have some sugar what no i'm not no what i'm not I'm not sending you a dick pic 
And I'd say that I'm like, uh, nah, bro. Um, nah, I'm not gonna send you a dick pic. I know, but I thought I could shoot my shot. You know, I thought that maybe you would just send one if you just had one on hand, you know? Um, do you want me to send you one? I'm just like, what are you doing right now, bro? Like, what are you talking about? No, bro. No, I do not want a dick pic. And I know there'll be, there'll be some people out there going like, nah, dude, it didn't happen, dude. I, I've been hit up by more men than women in my entire life on dating apps, bro. And that's not, I'm not even playing. Like there's a lot of dudes out there that put their profiles down as women, not transgenders, men, solid men, mustached up, bearded up men, facial follicles, dick out, everything. And they'll hit you up and they'll sit there and go, I know I'm not a girl, but like, I just think this probably helps me out getting like more men to like me. And I really like dudes that are straight. I can convince you, trust me, I'm more feminine than any bitch. I can suck dick better than any bitch you know. And it's like, dude, what are you talking about, man? That's like, nah, bro, I'm good. I'm, I'm into women. Like, I'm not really down for the sickness. I'm not for the, the penis in my mouth. I'm not gay. And they'd be like, but it's not bad. It's not bad. You don't even have to suck it. Like, I'll do it for you. you I'll just be the bottom bitch. And I'm just like, dude, I don't know about that, dude. That's kind of crazy. But there are dudes out there that will do that. Of course, he's only going to invite me over if his roommates aren't home. That's really, that's really specific. That is very specific. I right. think the problem comes in when we automatically assume that because a bigger woman is big, she's insecure. <laughs> because I've met so many in shape, gorgeous model women talk about how they were so insecure that it didn't matter that nobody, everybody said that they were gorgeous mm -hmm. because it's outside. Aesthetics are just that, they're outside. You could be inside. Mm -hmm. You could be the most insecure, depressed, self-loathing, miserable, mm -hmm. but you do a couple squats in between that. And now you deserve the best in the world. Come so, on, so, so okay. it's insecure. The question was on a man's perspective. I mean, I see what they're saying, but is that not an excuse to like lose weight? So like, even though you are now fit and healthy, you're still insecure. Don't get me wrong. There are plenty of people that are very, very attractive, that are very insecure about one thing or another. And that's fine. Everybody has insecurities to one degree or another. But should that be the thing that prohibits you from losing weight in the sense of like, if I lose this weight, will I still be insecure? Maybe, but maybe about different things. Like if you have a problem with insecurities in general, it probably wouldn't help. Or if you're losing weight and your insecurity was nothing to do with the weight, you probably won't have the insecurity anymore due to the weight though. So you can alleviate that problem. Not to say you won't pick up other insecurities, but again, is that an excuse to not lose weight? Probably not. I don't understand what this point is. Yeah, I'm just saying that say. majority, say, majority of men will say, you know, when they struggling on their date, the big girl is going to be the one that's going to step up more financially. Mm -hmm. That's just what majority of men will say. Okay. I've never seen a man be successful. I've never seen a man work his butt, especially a black man. As a black man, you're overcoming all odds. Work your ass off. You become successful. You get the bag. You go out. You see a woman 350 pounds and be like, yep, that's my wife. I've never seen it. I have. When I... I I don't know. I don't know specifically what black men are doing. And, you know, I, I mean, I don't even understand this argument point, dude. Um, usually, I don't even understand what this woman right here is saying, dude. But baby hair is on fleek. Usually, when a guy is more successful, I feel like a lot of people don't realize this. But when a guy is more successful or a guy is, like, I feel like I see this a lot, right? But I know it's not, like, very common. But I see a lot of women that are looking for very high-value dudes in the sense of how much money they're making. And that's fine. If you want to date a guy that's making 100 k or more a year, that's awesome. But uh, I feel like a lot of times women don't really understand what that means. Are you okay dating a man that's never going to be home? Are you okay dating a man that's probably going to be working 24-7? Are you okay with a man that's probably not going to be giving you a lot of attention? If you are, then probably fine dating a guy that's, like, making 100 k and usually guys that are making that much money, they have a lot of women that are going after them because, I mean, I'm not one of these people that thinks there's a lot of people out there, a lot of women out there that thinks that there are gold diggers. But there are a lot of women out there that don't want to work, which is fine. Like, I think if you're a woman and you don't want to work, that's fine. If you can find somebody that wants to advocate that for you, there are plenty of men that do. And if you can find that and they're awesome to you, that's great. But – Usually there's those guys are in hot commodity and like I said before a lot of these guys just don't have a lot of time and they can't really commit to a woman in the same way that a, a guy making 50k would if that makes any sense because maybe that guy has more free time maybe that guy is more willing to do stuff with you because he has free time and that might be more practical I feel like a lot of times you look at somebody that does make a lot of money and you don't look at like what's underneath that shit. 
Like there are so many dudes that make a lot of money that can't date, that are physically unable to date because they work so many long hours or they're doing so much whatever they're working, right? And don't get me wrong, there should, there could be a guy that's just like passively making 100K a year, but like what are the odds of that? Not much, there's probably not that many dudes out there doing that. So I know that the escort services are a thing. I know some of these guys will literally just pay a woman to go shopping with them. Literally, I know this happens. Like guys will, because they don't have the time, because they can't like actively develop a relationship themselves, they will hit up an escort service or they'll hit up some like woman somewhere that they know and they'll go, hey, let me take you shopping because there's a novelty to it. You, you, you would do these things ordinarily if you were in a relationship, but because you can't, because you don't have the time to do it, you're paying somebody to do it for you. And why does it matter to you? You're paying, you're making a ton of money. That like however much money you're paying this woman like is probably nothing because you're making so much of it. So I don't know. It's just like I don't know what this has to do with being black, but maybe they have some insight that I don't since I'm not a black man myself. I am a black woman, but it's just uh, it's interesting seeing it from the other side. And usually these guys are if they do date, they are dating usually women that are above average. So I wouldn't definitely say a woman that's 350. I don't know about that. Usually women, usually people in general that are 350 or higher don't really give a fuck about themselves. I don't know what the fuck you, what value you find in somebody that's very, very ridiculously overweight. If you can't, if you don't take care of yourself, why the fuck would I want to take care of that? That's crazy, dude. That's more harm than good. Well, you gotta show me, cause babe, I ain't never seen it in my life. If you're a plus size person and you're meeting someone you've been talking to on a dating app in person for the first time, send this to them. Hi. The person you're about to go on a date with is plus size. That's crazy, dude. Can you imagine sending this as like a debuff? Like if I was a dude and I, I was like on a dating app or whatever, and then I got, you know, like I got her number or something like that. And she was like, she sent me a video. I'm like, oh, she sent me a TikTok. That's real cool. Let's see what meme it is. Let's see if it's funny. And I click on it and I get this like, hey, the girl you're trying to go on a date with right now is fat. I'd be like, dude, damn, how fat are you? Where you got to send a whole message? You gotta be big as shit if that's the case. I thought you were only a couple. I thought you were like 20, 30 over. How much? How, how big as fuck are you? I'd be severely questioning that. And if they've been FaceTiming you, they probably have been holding their phone up here. And they're. You know what I used to get, right? When I used to talk to girls on on uh, video chat, I used to get this. Like this. It'd be so close, dude. And I remember this one time I was talking to this girl and. She, I thought she was 100% fat, dude. I met this girl on a dating app. She was real nice to talk to, but I got this, right? This is what all you saw, right? Or like, I would, you get something like this sometimes. And I would be like, dude, why am I never seeing your face? Like, are you fat? Like, you know what I'm saying? I didn't know. I didn't ask her if she was fat, but I was like, dude, zoom the camera. Like, what is that? Like, I only ever saw like the, like 25 or 30% of her face at any given point in time. But it just turns out that, no, that's just a way because she was, like, looking at her phone. And I guess people do this when they look at their phone. I don't fucking know why people do that. And they were multitasking. But when they zoomed out, I was like, oh, wow, no, you're not fat. Okay. Sometimes you don't know. Sometimes you don't know. Let me know if that's a common thing. Uh, I know I'm very bad at video chatting. I'm not even really on my phone very frequently. I know a lot of people might think that I'm on my phone. I'm a millennial. I didn't even grow up with a phone. So, I mean, sure, I'm on my phone at night because I'm, like, watching probably long form content on like hominids or like the fall of ancient Egypt and what happened with the sea peoples and things such and so forth. But I'm not usually on my phone. Like I'm, I'm really not. Anyway. Your arm is tired. They'd like to hold their phone down here like a normal person, but they're afraid of you seeing their double chin. If you are so fat that you have a double chin and you're so insecure to where you have to hold the phone like this so the other person doesn't see the double chin, you do understand that that's never gonna solve the problem. Like I remember I knew a dude and he used to tell me like, bro, I, I just always got to have a hard dick. Like my dick's always got to be hard when I'm around my girl because I never, she should never see me with my meat never hearted up or never like I got to slap my shit around and things like that. And I'm always thinking like, dude, if you're going to be with this girl for potentially years at a time, like that's an incredibly impractical thing to do. Like it's fine if your dick is like some guys don't have adequate meat sizage when they're not hard and that's all right i'm one of those dudes like if you ever looked at my shit and i was un i was unstiffed up it would probably you probably would be not intimidated by it but when i'm bricked oh man it's crazy right but that's okay it's fine as long as you're with somebody and they can accept that it's fine like most women are totally okay with a guy not being bricked up 24 7 that's just kind of impractical not all dudes are walking around with bbc default that's not how that works dude and even those dudes are putting on a facade. Most of those dudes are lying to you. But anyway, 
Um, yeah, dude, but this is obviously insecurity. You're, you're insecure about it. You, you, this means that there's a problem. You should probably adjust the problem, which is lose weight. So you don't have to deal with it. They'd like to know you're still going to want to go on a date with them and accept them even with their double chin so they can rest. I'm not dude. Nah, nah. If I get this, if I get this as a, 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 a message, I'm, I'm, I'm blocking that woman, dude. That's crazy. Nah. Their arm. This also means that their stomach is going to hang like this. It's not just their butt. That's going to be big. My butt's not even that big. I don't really even care. Like, you know, I see a lot. I seen a lot of women before go like, yeah, but my butt cheeks big, like my boobies big and shit like that. And I'm always going like, you know, I got this. I got a couple guy friends, right? I got a couple guy friends and they're big guys. They also have big butts. They also have really big boobs. Do I just like high five them anytime I see them? Like, yo, bro, you got it, bro. You got big butt. You got big, you got big boobs. No, I'm not. It's a feature. When you're big like that, it's normalty to be having big butt and big boobs. It comes with the package, okay? And frankly, it'd be weird if you didn't, all right? It would be. So when I see women bragging about it, I always think, like, I don't care. Like, that's normal. That's supposed to happen. Like, it's not even, it's not even something to brag about. Like, I remember this one girl literally said that. She was like, oh, but my butt. Like, there was two girls arguing about it. And... I don't, sometimes it's really weird when guys argue, but it's really weird when girls argue because guys will argue about weird shit too. Well, they'll go, yeah, my fucking KD is higher than yours in Call of Duty though. That's why my dick is big as shit. You got that fucking small sliver shit. My dick is crazy. I got that fucking Sasquatch meat. My shit is like a minotaur, right? But for women, it's really weird. Like I remember I, when I when I saw women argue, it'd be like, that's why my pussy tighter than your shit. That's why when my man nutting my shit, he knows. He knows that I'm going to get pregnant because my egg sac really fucking works. This shit is dried out, bitch. And it's crazy because it's like, they, 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 it's so hard. Because I don't usually hear women talk shit. You know, usually they're if they do talk shit, it's like backhanded. You know what I'm talking about? Well, it's like, oh, well, you know, um, yeah, my boyfriend got me something from, you know, Sephora last week. What did your boyfriend get you? Oh, nothing. Oh. But I'm sure he loves you. Like, it's usually backhanded like that. But when women go off, it's insane. And I remember I was talking to this, like, these two women were arguing. And this bitch, this woman was like, you're a fucking bitch. That's why your titties are saggy. Your titties are saggy. She was like, at least I got titties, bitch. And she was like, you don't even have it. You're just fat. And I was like, oh, my God. This shit is serious, dude. They were just, like, full force arguing at each other. I thought they were going to, like, start pulling out knives or something like that. One of the girls took off her hair. Like, she just ripped off her wig like she was fully prepared to fight. But it was serious, bro. You know something's going down when one girl says, my pussy tighter than yours. I don't even know how you even measure that. Like, is there, like, because you could easily measure. If dudes were like, my dick bigger than yours, like, prove it. You whip that shit out and you just like, you know, double stack it real quick. Like, one, one, two. And then you go for the third. Like, yeah, you know what I got, right? Or you just plop it on the table. Just let it, just sit there on the table. Like, go ahead, bro. Gaze upon my big shit right here. You already know. It's steam coming off. You know, and the other guy, like, he can't compete. He obviously can't compete, but you could test it. But for women, it's like, how do you even test the, I don't know, the elasticity of the vagina? I don't know. I don't know how you do that. But it's going to hang like that. Maybe these aren't the best shorts. Almost like maternity, but different. Also That's really sad to say, dude. Oh my God, bro. How are you going to sit there and say like my body is maternity shaped, but I'm not pregnant, <laughs> but I'm not pregnant. So please don't say the phrase. It doesn't bother me in reference to anything plus size about them. Just cellulite, rolls, stomach hang, etc. They want to know that you prefer those things, you delight in those things, and you think that they're gorgeous. Just yeah, I don't like any of those things, bro. I'm immediately blocking you. This is weird. Because they are. Not just that it doesn't bother you. Put your listening ears on because this is the most important thing. If they say anything about their fatness, do not say, you're not fat, you're beautiful. So like if they bring it up and they go like, oh, I know I'm like 450. I know I can't really sit down at this table unless I lift up my gut and just drop it on the table real quick what am i supposed to say like oh yeah that's cool that's awesome yeah i love that that looks really good <gasps> oh my god the table's actually leaning you know what's actually funny I remember one time right i was on a date with a girl and we were just sitting on a park bench watching black people dance and there was a couple it was like a mexican couple it was a bigger man and it was a smaller girl right and maybe they had been married i don't know bro i don't know the context of the backstory anyway i was just sitting on the bench we were just talking or whatever and i remember looking at this couple come over and there was like a you know like a, a picnic bench right but it was like a circular one that was made out of metal and it was like a three a three table seat so it was a circle and then it'd be like one side had a table one side had a place to sit and it'd be three so it'd be like one two three so the woman got on one side 
the guy got on the other side. Now, shit you not. When the dude sat down on the other side, the table went like this. It started leaning, bro, and he got up real quick. He's like, oh, shit. And then he <laughs> – and his wife was, like, lifted up like a teeter-totter, bro. And when I saw that shit, I literally was just sitting there laughing my ass off, right? And uh, obviously, the girls was like, David, stop laughing. That's not funny. That's not funny. It was funny. It was fucking funny, right? But I was just thinking, like, how is this not a time where you look in the mirror and go, I'm big as fuck. I real deal just almost launched my wife up into the moon because I'm so fat. And I thought he has to change his life, but he probably didn't change his life. That dude was big as fuck. And he just let his wife just see that shit. That's so disrespectful, bro. I don't know. Anyway. Anything about their fatness. Do not say. Like, his wife should have said something, right? Like, damn it, Harold. You know, I'm done with this shit, Julio. I can't believe that you're this big. This is ridiculous. You've been eating too many tamales or whatever Mexican guys eat. I don't know what Mexican. I know Mexican guys can eat like burgers and stuff like that. Was that racist? Was that was that racially insensitive? No, it wasn't. Okay, stop. You're not fat. You're beautiful. Cause baby, you just blew this whole thing. If you're Hold up now. What are we blowing right now? You're an insecure arrested development adult or you have a fetish for fat people just please save this person the time and just get out of here fat people have been through enough i can assure you also yeah like the weight dude having that weight on your body in general is going to be negatively affecting you so naturally it's bad so expect that they might look a little bit bigger in person that's crazy dude don't hit me with that that's all man all the things that you said before this and then you sit there and go yeah she might be bigger i guess like i mean they show up they might be like However, how much they said they were, just add in like an extra hundred. I mean, that's not really too much, right? I mean, it's probably just a makeup. They probably just see extra makeup on the face. That's probably where the extra hundred is coming from or the earrings or maybe they're wearing boots or something like that. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. They might be a little bit bigger. I mean, the diabetes is only a little bit worse. Like, don't worry about it like that. Yo, what are you talking about? Why these are all bad things? than they do in their pictures it's like you probably look a lot better in your pictures than you do in person and if you're not attracted to this person then just be clear and upfront nobody wants someone to be with them out of charity i assure you someone else will come along and find them to be wildly attractive that's true sure you're gonna find somewhere someone that's gonna find you wildly attractive again we're just playing we're just gambling at this point we're just trying to win the lottery of a person being beautiful and also somebody that cares about you deeply that's going to look past all this other stuff that's going to find you completely attractive even though that's really impractical but gg on that i guess i don't know slay queen edges that's exactly what you should be doing don't actually make yourself very attractive no no no. don't prioritize making yourself attractive you're good exactly the way you are somebody's gonna love you regardless of those things sure it may be but like why would i ever want that why would i want one person to find me attractive across the board when I can find many people that are going to be attractive and I can choose that person. Because sometimes the guy that finds you very, very attractive and beautiful, this ignores what you want. This it, it, So what if a guy finds you super ridiculously attractive? You start dating him, then you realize he has roast beef under his bed and then he's like beating off to like, I don't know, microwaves. Like, or do you want to be with a guy like that? Maybe that's not too bad. But still, you get the point I'm making. You should decide who you want to date, not just some guy that thinks you're beautiful regardless. If that guy doesn't have standards and you're just like whatever to him, I guess it doesn't matter, right? I don't know. Whatever, man. It doesn't matter. The point I'm making is here, you're beautiful, you're amazing, you're spectacular. I want to smell your eyebrows. If you um, watched today's video and you liked today's video, I'd appreciate it for everybody to leave a like, comment, a subscribe, sharing the video. I want to thank everybody that's a member of my channel and thank you for being here. Um, if you want to become a member, you can totally do that by hitting the subscribe button then hitting the join notification right after that. If you don't want to do that, that's completely fine. But I uh, do want to thank you for being a member and then subscribing. You guys are awesome, beautiful, amazing people. I hope nobody got offended by that burp. I don't know what to tell you, okay, dude? It's a natural, uh, what do you want me to edit it out? I'm not going to edit it out, okay? Uh, if you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in hoodie because I'm in my hoodie era. Can you, can you see that? I'm in my pretty girl hoodie error right now, but I'm not going to because it's 60 degrees out right now. And uh, you watch, man, once it, once it hits 65, no hoodie. I'm gonna be, oh, skin out, skin out. And for all the people that have been asking for that nipple reveal, you might get it. Who knows? Who knows? We'll see. But anyway, um, you're a beautiful person. You smell very good today. Uh, your natural musk, by the way, is superior. Anytime I smell you and you wear a perfume or you wear a cologne, I don't like it. I just like the way you smell naturally. I like your natural body odor. And I don't care if you're a man or a woman, dude. Uh, your your natural body odor is emanating off of you at, a, at such a such a beautiful rate that I can't help but to oh, smell it up. Mm, man.
Ugh, that smelled a little bit too good. Hold up. Oh my god. You look way too good today. But anyway, guys, um, we're going to end the video here. If you want to check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. It's just my Instagram, my Twitter, my Discord, and my second channel. If you want to check out any of that stuff, feel free to do so. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.